Hey guys, Vegas over here, and today we'll see how to use WebSocket Node Red. There are two ways of using WebSocket with Node Red. One is, or you can use it as you know, a server, or you can use Node Red as a client. So we'll first see how to use it as a server. To do that, I'm just going to add a node that is WebSocket in, and also we'll add a node WebSocket out. So the WebSocket in node need to be configured and uh, the type should be listen on if you are using node red as server. Now we need to add a path that I'm just going to use WebSocket slash test let's say and we have this kind of send and receive payload add now that's okay I'll just give it a name test over here on the listen side or out node we are going to use the same path you can use a different path as well but I know we have tested so we use the same path and use test out from the test node I am going to use a debug node so as we can print out the response for data coming out of it. in and on the out I am going to use the inject node that will you know push the timestamp to the WebSocket. Now we can deploy it. To test this I am going to use a Chrome extension WebSocket test client. I've already installed it so I'm just going to use it as it is uh, WebSocket the URL the port then we get the test. This is some testing of screen. So let's create let's move this. Now if I click on open, if you know you have configured properly, you can see you know the in and out mode will show as connected now. Now let's try to send some data from the tool. Let's say I want to send out a JSON payload, a data and uh, some value, let's say temperature. And humidity, double quote, this thing. Oh, let's send. And the data is right into the socket connection. And we should get that in the debug panel here. And you can see over here, it's been printed. Uh, let's clear and send it to see. Yep. You can see over here. And now, as it is JSON, you can use a function node to parse it. Let's do this. equals numbers. and this is going to message dot payload or amt string addition object deploy now let's open it and send And here we should get the data as the opposite. Okay. Now let's try to publish some data uh, from Node Red basically. So if I want to write something to socket and you know I just inject the timestamp and it should be visible over here in the message box. So over here also we can try to write some data using function node. Let's say you know what I want to do is I want to write some JSON data and let's say same thing. Uh, I instead of temperature humidity, I'll just put acceleration 
and velocity say 34 done deploy and now we need to connect from the client and as soon as we insect we should get the data in the client app so that's all with this as you know a server and now let's see how to use this as a client to do that again we need to use a websocket in and out modes uh, but over here one change is going to be instead of listen on we are going to make it connect to when you use connect you need to have a websocket server and for that i am using the spy socket website and i have created my cluster over here and from here we just need the websocket uh, connection url and that can be found over in the API keys section. We just need to copy this URL and come over here, create a new connection URL. We can add the TLS configuration as well, but uh, now we, I'm just going to skip it. Done. Uh, let's give it a name. It's okay. Hi. So this socket buy is not free, but you get a hundred uh, dollar credit, and that should work for you uh, because in production you should create your own server, or you can all use their service as well, which is going to be paid one after your credit is expired. So this one, then I'm just going to use the same playbook. No. I'm just going to use uh, the WebSocket out mode. And here I'm just going to use a timestamp at them. This is okay. look better a bit. So here also I need to configure it with uh, socket by same connect to and we can configure the URL return. I just need to rename it socket by done deploy. Now this should be connected because uh, the server is already up and running. Now to test this, I'm going to use their online test tool, which will let us write and read our socket. So it's already configured. I'll just click on connect. Okay, this is closed. So yep. Now let's say we try to send some JSON data. Again, uh, we test payload. Click on send. I should be able to be there and uh, we need to promote it. We should have that printed as part of this. Now, let's try to send some data out of Modred and let's go and click or inject the timestamp. We should get the timestamp over here. Instead of timestamp, we can do the same way we can, you know. Just take this node and send some JSON data. Um, that should also work. Click on this and you should get the data written to this and that should be shown by the tool. So that's all with this guys. Uh, that's all for today. Hope you have liked this video and uh, hope it is useful for you. If so, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Till then, goodbye.